Okay, hopefully everybody can see me. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good evening. My name is Kent, and the channel is EOS San Diego. I make videos about the EOS blockchain, about the Ethereum blockchain, about the, uh, about the uh, Bitcoin blockchain, about blockchains in general. But I wanna talk a little bit tonight about something that I did a couple years ago that continues to come up with me almost on a daily basis. And that's my prediction of uh, EOS hitting $100. And I, I really wanna do this video tonight for two reasons. First of all, because someone asked me the other night about it again, and I think, I think on a daily basis, every single day of my life, somebody asks me about the $100 EOS party that I, um, that I made an invitation to a couple years ago. And not only does it, someone ask me about this almost every single day, I have, I think, close to 3,000 people that have signed up that would, would potentially come to the party. Now, I know not all 3,000 would come to the party, but we have a place on our challenge.io website where you can register for the party. And I think the last time I counted, there was like 2,600 or 700, 800, and it's probably close to 3,000 now. People that have asked to be on the list for this $100 ES party. So, um, and that was been a few years ago, maybe over two years ago, I think when I made that prediction. And of course, at the time I made the prediction, EOS was probably around 20 bucks, which was, uh, you know, 20% home. So 20% of $100 looked to me like $100 would be a pretty easy, a pretty easy, especially before, prior to the chain launching. I, you know, $20, $100, chain hasn't launched yet. So much going on in the, in the space that it was just like, it's inevitable this is gonna hit $100. And I wasn't the only one. In fact, I, met, I think the, the guy from um, us, us um, I can't even remember where he was, one of the block producers had predicted that EOS could probably be $1,000. You probably remember who that was. Uh, I think, uh, I can't remember the name of the block producer. Um, but anyway, if you remember, you can go back and watch the videos and, and take a look at it. Someone was predicting $1,000 EOS. I predicted $100 EOS. That was a big prediction. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's never even come close. In fact, it's gone all the way to the other end of it. Now it's $2 and I can't, it's below $2. I, I can't, basically when EOS is below $3, I don't even look at it anymore. It's just, uh, it's just, it's just, uh, to me, it's, it's just oblivion. It's like it's below $2, below $3 again. Who cares? I mean, it's gonna go back over $3. It'll probably go much higher. But anyway, I just wanna talk about my prediction of, of, of $100 EOS uh, because I've never put a date on when I think EOS will put a hit $100. But I stand by my prediction that EOS will one day be $100. Sometime in the future. I don't know when, but I, I know that it will be $100. I know it will be. I mean, it's, 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 I know it's a, it's a silly thing to say, and, and I get a lot, of, uh, a lot of people give me a hard time about it. A lot of people tell me, they, in fact, I think they like to make me, they say that because they like me to, 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 to basically um, let them know what an idiot I was when I said that. Um, and that I was so far off, off base when I said that, that I should probably own it and, and tell everybody that, you know, uh, that was a really ridiculous uh, uh, thing to say to say EOS would be a hundred dollars, um, and uh, and everything. But it did it did it did it did get a lot of interest, and a lot of people registered for the party. So, you know, I guess it in you know if if you're if you're thinking about the fact that it's been something that said that has um, it's kind of been something for people to remember me by or know me by. I guess it was a good thing, as far as the prediction coming true. It hasn't been such a good thing because it hasn't even come close, and it's been so far away that it's kind of ridiculous. But, um, you know, the reason I still think it's gonna be $100 is because there's so many reasons why EOS should be trading higher than it is today. And I mean, there's stuff going on that just boggles the mind as far as why EOS can't grow or take off and why the market just won't go where it needs to be. One of the things is the fact that people aren't building on EOS like they should be building on EOS. I mean, I hear people talk about recreating Ethereum on EOS, the um, um, you know the virtual Ethereum machine, the, the ETM virtual, you know whatever that is they call that, where they rebuild Ethereum on EOS, or even recreate via Bitcoin on EOS. I don't know 
if that can be done. I mean, according to Dan Laramie, it can be done. And why you'd want to do it, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Why recreate Ethereum on EOS when actually you should just create out an EOS to begin with? There's $8 trillion running around now on DeFi, close to $8 trillion, $8 trillion on DeFi. It's all running on Ethereum. If you ran it on EOS, it would probably work and you would have a lot more people, money running around on a DeFi and, would, and, and it would, the transactions would actually go through and you wouldn't have uh, Vitalik coming up with every, you know, reason in the world how to make gas fees, you know, less expensive or how to make them negotiate the gas fees so they're better for, it's easier for people not to pay an arm and leg for, you know, to run a transaction. If it was running on EOS, you could do that. You could run DeFi on e EOS without the huge, fees it would be much faster and it would work and all this you know making transactions or running decentralized finance or finance on a, in an environment without knowing your kyc without everybody knowing everybody's information and doing it in a decentralized fashion would work on eos but no one seems to come to that conclusion everybody just as simply revolves around ethereum for a DeFi platform because nobody's talking up EOS. None of the developers use EOS. Um, you know, if you don't win over to developers, then nobody's going to build on it. And right now, Ethereum is the place everybody builds. So everybody uses Ethereum for everything, for every smart contract project, for every the ICOs all went through Ethereum. Now DeFi is all going through Ethereum. Nobody uses EOS, even though EOS is a, is a, is a platform that's much faster, much quicker, uh, much more efficient, has, 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 uh, you know, cheaper usage fees, I mean, CPU and RAM, but you don't have to go through the gas fees. And not only that, I think it's much simpler to use. Uh, there isn't, uh, you know, browser extensions and all the other stuff you got to go through uh, with uh, with Ethereum. Um, you know, um, it's just, it's, 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 a, it's a very easy thing to do. So will EOS ever go to $100? One day it will. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not a young guy. Hopefully it happens in my lifetime, I think simply because, you know, like I've said on this channel before, because of inflation and because the dollar becomes less and less valuable every day, I think all assets are gonna raise in value and it's including EOS. Uh, and maybe they print enough money that EOS becomes $100 uh, 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 EOS and, and, and that's no big deal because money's so, so, so devalued to the point that everything that you buy um, becomes more expensive just because the money is just so plentiful and created out of, um, so much has to be created in order to keep the economy going, to keep things going, running when you have things like COVID going on. So EOS just gets to be $100 naturally because um, the money becomes worth so little. So yeah, I think it will be $100 a token. Um, I wish more things were run on EOS. I think DeFi should be running on EOS. I think uh, other things should be running on EOS. The reason it's not is because people just don't think about it. They don't consider it. The the, uh, the developers don't consider it. I think a lot of that has to be a revolve around the fact that EOS just doesn't has an identity problem. They just have an identity problem. I mean, I've tried to put an identity behind EOS. I've tried to pitch EOS. I've tried to get people excited about EOS. We've built on EOS. We're very happy with the platform. It works very well for us. Uh, we've grown. Uh, our challenge application has done very, very well. It has a lot of users, a lot of people. We get a lot of great ideas around the world and it's done very, very well. We couldn't have done that on Ethereum. If we would have built Challenge on Ethereum, it probably wouldn't even be working yet. It still wouldn't even work. Um, you know, we would still be sitting there with an application. We were trying to, you know, uh, you wouldn't even scale. You wouldn't have anybody using it. On uh, EOS, we have a lot of people using it. So. I'm 100% behind EOS. I think it should be $100. Um, I think it will be $100. I stand 100% behind my party of $100 EOS. It's down at the Del Coronado when it does happen. It will happen. I don't know when, but it's gotta happen. It's gonna happen. It will happen. And if people wanna continue to make fun of it, fine. Make fun of it. Talk to me all day long about it. You know, email me, send me messages. Uh, tell me what a, what a, what a joke it was, uh, but it will happen and it should happen and it needs to happen and it's inevitable to happen uh, simply because the platform does work. The platform does run the transactions very quickly, inexpensively, and it's the only, in my mind, the only blockchain right now that you can do that on. Uh, everything else is, 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 is still trying to be figured out, including Ethereum. 
Um, and I listened quite a bit to the Ethereum people. And um, you know, before we ever built Challenge, we tried to th build it on, on, on Ethereum. And we worked quite a while. In fact, we hired quite a few people to work on Ethereum to try to build Challenge. And we quit, we gave up because we didn't think it was doable. So we ended up doing it on the EOS blockchain. That's, we were one of the top, I think we were one of the first 10 projects being that was, was built on, on EOS. So I think, like I say, they do have an identity problem. I think they would find, I, would, I hope, I wish they would find somebody that could be a better spokesman for EOS. Somebody that would be more out there. As I've said before, I've had an open invitation for Dan Lammer to come on this channel and talk with me about EOS. He, he, he ends up on Ivan on Tech, but he won't end up on this channel. Um, you know, and even on, when he was on Ivan on Tech, people were asking him about challenge. If you go back and watch the Ivan on Tech, and I think I could put a little clip in here um, of him talking about people, uh, uh, EOS on Ivan on Tech. So even on Ivan on Tech, he, he wouldn't he wouldn't even discuss a, a challenge. But that's about ah, all I know. Maybe about. that's it. So you guys are investing or you, you don't know that? I, I can't comment on it beyond what's already been out there. Got it. Some people also ask about Challenge EOS. Do you know that? Uh, no, I don't. Got it, got it. Well, other than that, I think that's most questions that people have been asking. Um, staking, we've been discussing that. Upgradable smart contracts. Is that something that is in the... I don't even know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's like I say, it is what it is. It's a decentralized platform and he's, uh, uh, you know, he, he makes a decision on where he wants to talk or who he wants to talk to. Um, and he doesn't have to talk to me. I don't really care if he talks to me or not. Uh, I just want the platform to grow. I just saw it's all I care for. I just want the platform to grow. I want people to, to use it and I want it to be where it is, where it should be, which it should be one of the most lucrative uh, platforms in the world. It should be one of the most uh, highly coveted, built upon, um, used, uh, you know, highest market cap uh, platform in the world. The reason it's not um, isn't because of the platform or isn't because of what it is or how it works. It's because of the way it's perceived and I think the way people um, talk about it or the way the reason, you know, for whatever reason people don't build on it. So that's what it is. So I'm still standing behind the $100 party. I will continue to stand behind the $100 party. Uh, if, if you, if you, if you want to, you know, think that that's crazy, then fine. I guess I'm crazy because I still think it's gonna happen. And uh, I hope it happens uh, sometime in the future. And when it does happen, uh, we can go back and laugh about all the time that uh, it didn't happen because it's been a long time waiting, a long time coming. It's kind of like Peter Schiff the other day, I was still thinking, listening to Peter Schiff, and he was talking about gold reaching 2000, and it did reach 2000 long, not, too, not too long ago. And he goes, I've been waiting for this since 2012. So eight years, Peter Schiff waited for gold to go to $2,000. Well, that's kind of the way I am. I mean, I've been waiting for EOS to go to $100. And maybe I end up waiting as long as Peter Schiff is. Uh, but it will eventually get there. And uh, like I say, uh, in the meantime, we can all have a good laugh about it. But I do think it will get there. It's a long way from it right now. It's got a long, long way to go. But hopefully it makes it one of these days. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.